Hello, welcome to my channel Aegis Studio. Uh, today we are going to discuss regarding exception handling, the further more topics of exception handling. In the previous videos we have seen uh, regarding try, catch and finally. And final block is a block which uh, no matter what uh, it will definitely execute. So there are two more uh, keywords in exception handling. Those are uh, uh, throw and throws. We'll see what is throw and what is throws. First one, uh, first, before this uh, throws and throws, uh, you should know the difference between these two since it is quite important, especially for interviews and all they will ask. So let us uh, demonstrate with an example. Okay. Let me create a class. First of all, let me create a class. So class accept. I have created a class called accept. Okay, in this void, hey, Studio. Studio, okay. I'm going to create a method, Edge Studio. So inside this method, I'm going to okay. Before, uh, yeah, uh, inside this, what I'll do is uh, I have created a method called Edge uh, Studio, and that is a class except inside this, uh, I'm going to uh, throw an exception. So I'm using uh, the keyword throw, okay. Throw, throw, throw. Throw is a keyword in exception handling. If you want to throw an exception by yourself, so you may think why you are throwing an exception. So maybe for, um, uh, let's consider in a Google form, uh, if there is username and password. So if you give a password like one, two, three, so definitely it will throw an exception that it is weak password. So that is why throw will be quite useful. So throw is something like which you want to throw an exception for uh, mandatory fields and all you are going to throw the exception. So I'm going to throw the exception. Before that throwing, you should use a new keyword, new instance, because um, uh, new is an instance to for uh, throwing an exception. So I will create, I will throw a new uh, using that IO exception, IO exception, going to throw an IO exception. So I'm going to throw that. Um, just wait, it is enough. Okay, throw IO exception. So I will uh, end the semicolon. You can see that uh, automatically Java IO dot IO exception is imported. So it's an import statement. Okay. So when I use IO exception, so still there is an error. Still there is an error. Why? Because IO exception is a checked exception. So checked exception means when compilations take place, uh, you should use try catch. Otherwise, you can use uh, uh, throws. Okay, you can put this in try and catch. So what we'll uh, see, uh, you can do this. Uh, one is I will use try. Okay, and uh, close this. Just wait a minute. After there's a catch, uh, close a catch, catch IO exception. Then open and close and of course object i have to create of this so now the exception is gone because we are handling this try and catch so this is a normal way to handle the exception this is the normal way so i'm throwing the uh, exception by yourself it is a keyword to throw uh, your own your exception whichever exception you want to throw new io exception so you can handle it using try and catch uh, so uh, see, if you don't want to try and catch, okay, maybe I'm lazy to do that. So you can use the throws. You can use throws keyword. I'll just show you. I will remove this. I'll remove this. I'll remove this. So definitely it will show an error. See, unhandle exception type I exception. So quick fix is to add throws. So just click on this. Okay, you can see it throws I exception. That means uh, whenever you throw an exception, whenever you throw an exception uh, in front of this method, okay, this method inside this method, actually you are throwing this exception. You should uh, tell that throws using throws keyword. You should tell the compiler that I'm not handling it. You just handle it. So you are giving a warning before only to the compiler. So what it will do is whoever is calling this method, okay, it will just throws to that. So it must handle that. So here you are you, you are trying to handle the you are not handling the exception you are just declaring the exception that this method might throw an exception might throw an exception so you are trying to declare here 
you are doing to declare here now what will happen is i'm going to call this method okay down here okay see here what will happen i'll just um, create uh, uh, the class okay so i'm going to create an object for that class except for okay so i'm going to create ex okay is equal to new except new except uh, just wait a minute yes see uh, i'm creating sorry it was zeros there i'm seeing that okay so now what I did was e except is this class and I'm created object ex. So I'm going I'm just calling this method. So what is the method? AJ Studio. So I'm going to call that ex dot uh, yeah AJ Studio. So now when I whenever I call AJ Studio, so there is an error. There's an error because this AJ Studio is not it is throwing an error it is throwing an error you are not handling it you are just declaring you are telling the compiler that it is dangerous uh, it throws a io exception okay it throws a io exception you are not uh, handling it you are just declaring it here so here whenever you call it uh, unhandled exception it will tell it will got to, it will get to know that it's having some problem so uh, at that time either you try the throws declare uh, otherwise try and catch you can use uh, any one of this i will show how exactly you can use add throws so you should uh, quickly fix that using the first one uh, the first quick uh, fix so so in front of the main method it throws io exception so io exception that means here what will happen is whenever you call this okay so io exception here it's going to handle it which one that is main method your main method is going to handle it so this is a difference so if you don't want to handle the exception you can use throws keyword you can use a throws keyword instead of try and catch so you are telling the jvm to handle it you are trying you are telling the jvm to handle it that is throws throw is something like you if you want to throw an exception i mean if you want to throw an exception if uh, maybe invalid field or anything password is weak at that time you can use throw throws is something like if you can't handle it just declare it and let jvm handle it okay i'm going to run this program let me run the program of course it will uh, throw, uh, give an error you can see io exception io exception so in which line it will so here what is happening is you are telling already the compiler that it will throws a exception okay otherwise you can put try and catch inside this that also you can do instead of that you can use throws in front of the method normally in front of the method this is a main method this is a uh, user defined method so that's the difference between throw and throws okay this is the last uh, topic uh, in uh, exception handling you have seen all the things try catch finally and finally the last thing is uh, throw and throws i hope you understood how this uh, throw and throws works okay thank you so much for uh, uh, watching this thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe